It's no secret that sports keeps a person healthy, focused and of course disciplined for a cause. And sports can also save government money, says PNG Sports Foundation Chief Executive Officer Peter Tsiamalidi Jr. But having said that, sports is probably the only entity that we keep on advising and try to persuade the government that uh, we will help the government save money. So far, the Sports Foundation has been in talks with relevant government departments and participating in strategizing during workshops, providing key indicators to the medium-term development strategy that sports is a factor in government saving costs in certain sectors of society. They keep talking about the return on investment. We have been pushing with close consultation with national planning in, in a few of our workshops that we had in developing our medium-term development goals in that sports continues to be that differentiating factor that will help this government save money. Health, especially lifestyle diseases and law and justice are the two main sectors that the government can save money on. Exercise and focusing on sports as a personal goal can have a positive impact on the population of Papua New Guinea. We will reduce the health bills. We will reduce the crime bills. We will ensure and encourage kids are coming back to school and wanting to be educated because of sports. Chiamalili says sports locally and globally focuses on bringing together nations in a show of nationalism and is the only venue that brings nations around the world to a common understanding in the spirit of competitiveness. The only moment in time where you get to see Papua New Guineans united is when you watch the hunters or the kumuls. We're also an organization that speaks across all nations. It is the very thing that is common in Papua New Guinea and the rest of the world. And that's through the medium of sports. Fidelis Sukina, National MTV Sports.